And we're back, you guys, so let us continue. So on the last one, we saw the death of Omid, which was a tragedy. Considering that they survived a lot of ordeals in the first season, now we get to the second season and lose him right, up, right off the bat, so it really sucks. We don't know what happened to Krista throughout the game. We'll have to um, see what happens. I'm not going to spoil anything. There we go, Clementine. There we go. Way to go. <laughs> she is older, you know, she's a little bit taller, and the... We know that the voice actress... I guess, I think the voice actress is different. I'm not entirely sure about that. I'll have to read up the IMDB and see if it's the same person, or they changed the voice actress to... Um, to voice the older Clementine. But I think it was a great decision for them to continue the story with her, to see where she goes, to see what happens to her, because, you know, if they changed characters and started off from scratch on season two, it would have been kind of like starting over, but here feels more of a, like a continuation of the first season, so you feel like you want to know what's going to happen to her, what, what kind of life she will have, and where she'll end up. And she's also not the same person from the first season. In the first season, she was just a little girl who didn't know anything, and then Lee taught her how to shoot a gun, and you know, and she survived. She was deceived by someone. She learned from that. She learns what she learned what lies were, and you know, she's she's grown a lot. She's a lot mature for her age, and uh, it really reflects on the decisions she'll be making throughout this game and the way she behaves is not normal for a girl her age but she was forced to grow grow up faster than most kids I apologize for the noise in the background I think you probably hear a dog that's a neighbor's dog and I can't shut him up so there's nothing I can do about that so I'm going to mute the mic and uh, comment on important things. Um, just so, you, so that you don't, you guys don't hear that sound over and over again. It's really annoying. Whoa. <laughs> She's a little scared because of the sign of wild animals that could appear in this forest. So it makes sense that she's all nervous about it. And we found a dog. It's okay, boy. It's okay. It's got a collar, so we know that it had an owner. Or has, I don't know. Sam. Well, nice to meet you, Sam. We have a friend. Let's see where he takes us. What's he doing? Sam! Sam! Where are you going? Wait up! Looks pretty run over, but you never know. Let's 
look around for some food. So let's explore the leftover of a camp. Some people used to be here, but so far it doesn't seem like there's anybody it here. Like it's been here for a while. <laughs> let's see what we can find. Family and a dog, so that's his family. Looks like they were a happy family once. I hope they left some food behind somewhere. Nothing edible. That's how she feels about toys these days. She's like, nope, can't eat it. It's worthless. <laughs> uh, Think anyone's been sleeping in here? I can't tell. It's a waste of a Maybe tent. Better not wait around to find out. Considering that it's not like there's a lot of houses these those days. And a frisbee. Let's play. Hey, wanna play? Wanna play catch? Okay, bring it back. Good boy, Sam. He's well trained. I don't know if what if something happens if you keep throwing the frisbee, so if anybody knows, leave yeah, something in the comments more. below. Not entirely sure if there's something new about it. Whoop. What's up? What's the matter, Sam? There's gonna be some references now to season one. You have to be quiet. Things that she's gonna be saying. Looks like he tried to cut it out, but that never works, ever. It's okay. We're smart. He's not. We're smarter than all of them. back, okay? What she said is what Lee to told her when before he died. I did think about her last choice though, and it sort of makes sense because um, the stranger, the person that kidnapped her, we chose not to shoot him when he was already dead. It's just that I assumed that he was still alive when Lee choked him. But she but he was actually dead. So the re so the reason she didn't shoot you when you were down was cuz you didn't shoot the stranger cuz the stranger was not going to be a danger to anyone anymore. See, we just have to stay out of their reach. And the same thing happened to Lee. He was uh caught, you know, he was handcuffed. So he wasn't—he wasn't going to be a danger to anyone transformed into a walker. But I guess another uh, point of view Still pretty sharp. is that if I knew, if, we found something useful, we won't go another night without food, okay? If I knew that the stranger was already dead, I would have shot him because then he wouldn't be a real danger to anyone. Because we never know if he got somebody got get inside the building. Ugh, God. And. <laughs> and you never know if he'll end up killing someone, so you better just make sure and always t take down the walkers whenever you can. But the other point of view... The other point of view is that you better save a bullet for an emergency. Like, don't waste bullets on something that it's not an immediate danger to you. So, there are a lot of, point of points of view, you know, it's... Uh, Check everywhere. It's it's really you know it's something that you can debate, but in the end, it's like every choice is kind of right well, in 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 its own way. Oh my God! Thank you. Look, Sam, I can. 
Let's see what's inside. Let's eat. Bon appetit. <laughs> Yeah, that could happen. <laughs> I I once opened a can of uh, spaghettis, spaghettis and meatballs, and there was this black thing inside, and it smelled really bad. It was horrible. <laughs> Pretty much trauma traumatized me. <laughs> Thank God. So here you have a choice. Feed dog, don't feed. I guess you are pretty hungry too. So let's feed him. Here you go. Hey, you don't eat it all. Oh boy. Let me grab something. Oh, whoops. Yeah, that was my bad. Ugh. Well, I guess there's no surprise anymore. Dog goes wild. <laughs> this is really what happens when a dog is really hungry. Um, an animal is still an animal, so in order to survive, the dog will obviously rather kill you and, and eat the food than let you eat it by yourself, so... Here you go. It makes a lot of sense that this happened. This could happen hey, in real life. But a dog needs to be, like, really hungry to do this. It needs to be, like, not eaten for days in order to get to this point. And unfortunately, the dog has been impaled. It's a really sad situation, because it's not the dog's fault, you know? He's just hungry. So I'm just going to be merciful and end its suffering. That's one hell of a bite. So she ended up with a big bite on her arm. She's bleeding out. And she lost her food. That's a really bad day. Oh, and she had to kill a dog. Which is pretty horrible. <laughs> Now she's walking alone in dark forest.
Wow, she can't even take a, 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 a like a 10 second break and Walker show up. It's really messed up. I think... I think we're safe. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Hey, you alright? I... I think so. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mentioned what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Hmm. Well, I'm Luke, and this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. It's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! <laughs> what? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. No, no, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am I the one? Because I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite, man. It's not. Watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? See? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Hmm. Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this? What, what does that matter, Pete? Seriously. I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... you don't kill dogs. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? You look me in the eyes when you answer. Of course I am. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she gonna say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at... All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. 
Alright, so I'm going to be stopping here, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.